Dá um chifre. Listen to the pops. Dá um chifre. One more time. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jun Han. Now for today's video, I'll be checking out my friend's car, which is a BMW F30 330i. And to tell you guys why currently the F30 is still so popular nowadays and why I personally think that that is one of the best modern BMW 3 Series ever made. Okay, and he has also done a lot of modification onto it. So I'm gonna explain to you guys, walk around the car, the exterior, the interior, and also hear the exhaust because the exhaust is one of the loudest I've ever heard. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. Okay, so yep, with that video ado, Let's go. And here is it guys. So this is the BMW F30 330i. Now to give you a brief introduction about the history of this car. So currently there are actually seven generations of this car. So you all the way back, you have the E30. And then after that, you have the E36. And then after that, you got the E46. Then after that, you got the E90. Then the E92. All right, then you have this right here, the F30. And currently the latest generation, which is the G20. All right, and this car right here is actually the first ever model to actually have a turbocharger engine into it okay so the previous one all is naturally aspirated and this one is turbocharged okay so this one makes about 250 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque stock on paper all right but as you can see this car you can see it's actually not stock it's modified on exterior even the internals is also modified so this is currently stage two so this one actually runs about 300 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque and this car can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just five seconds so yeah that is really really quick all right and this car has a very huge very large exhaust as well which i'll show you guys later now i know a lot of people get confused by the different models of this car have because for the f30 family you have a lot a lot of different variations as well like you have the 318d you have the diesel you have the petrol variant, you've got 330, 328, 335, okay? But to me, this one is the best. And currently now, right, the 330i is actually pretty rare because nowadays the cars you see, right, they are all 330e and the car is much more heavier than this right here because this one, right, this one is about 1,500 kilos. The 330e that we currently have right now, that is 1,700 kilos. So that's 200 kilograms more, all right? So this car is the best car out there personally for me, the best model, all right? Because it's, you just look at it, Currently, a lot of people may think like the G20, right, is nice. But to me, I feel that this car is perfect because the G20 is a bit huge, right? It's like the more like towards the 5 Series today. But that's very common nowadays for modern cars. Like for example, you see the Golf, okay? The Mark 8 is so much larger than the Mark 7. To me, the 7, the proportions of the 7, Mark 7, Golf is just nice. Okay, it's agile, it's small, yep, it's punchy, right? Just like the F30 right here. But nowadays, because they want to make the car bigger okay so that's why yeah the G same for the g20 as well okay that is why i prefer this much more than the g20 okay now we're done with the introduction of the car now let's talk about the exterior styling of this car let's take a look at it it doesn't age one bit right yeah this car is like launched so many years ago but it still looks so fresh okay right so this car right you can see the headlights you still maintain this angel eye which nowadays modern bmw you don't really have that okay it's either half it's not full okay so if i would take the keys and to unlock it right just to show you and press unlock you can see it's so fierce okay very very cool okay then the kidney grill as well this one the size is just nice because current modern bmws right the kidney grills are super super huge okay way too huge and it's slightly controversial as well some people like it some people don't right so for this this one is just nice and also if you get up closer right, you can see everything here is actually functional like for example the kidney grill basically air actually enters to cool the engine okay even the bottom here as well okay it go inside to the intercooler Okay, so the owner actually added this front lower lip as well to give it presence and also much more menacing. Okay, then if you look down here as well, you can see there actually ducks here where to cool the brakes. It goes inside towards the brakes. Everything here is functional, okay? Right, even here you can see the bottom of this lip, there's also opening as well. Right, even the side here beside the fog light, you can see there's actually air curtain. Basically, air enters and goes to the side of the car all for aerodynamical purposes. Okay, so yeah, the front end is just my favorite. It looks super, super good. Now let's head toward the side. Okay, so this, the owner actually wrapped the roof black to give it a little more sporty look. Okay, and make it look lower than it actually is. But yeah, this car to say it's low, it's actually very low. Okay, so you can see, if I have to put my hand here, right, I can only put one fist. It's actually really low to the ground. Okay, but the owner said it's actually, it's still drivable. Okay, daily drivable. Okay, and then take a look at the side right here. So the owner actually changed to RE004 tires. And then you see this one. Okay, now this one is also slightly controversial because a lot of people won't go for this kind of wheels. But this one nowadays is actually very nice. The way you have 
like a German car, but then JDM wheels, okay? This one is out of the norm, not a lot of people do it, but this one put off very well, okay? So these are the original race D37 SL, okay? So it's extremely light, okay? And then you have these Brambles, four ports, finished in green. Nowadays, you see a lot of people go for red or yellow. So yeah, it's very, very cool, okay? Now let's head towards the side, so you can see the side skirt, you can, it's extended lip at the side as well, okay? And then you got this. You got this forged carbon fiber side mirror caps, okay? Yeah, this car, the side profile, the front is very, very cool. But wait to check out the rear, okay? Now, this one for BMW, the back is definitely wider than the front itself, okay? So the back is like a staggered setup, right? So this one is much wider, it's much meatier, okay? Then head towards the back. Now, this, the back is also one of my favorites. I always, always choose this than the G20, okay? So if I were to unlock the car again, just to press the lock, let's check out the lights. So this is actually the LCI model because every BMW model actually goes through a facelift. So they call it the LCI, all right? The life cycle impulse. So yeah, this one is the LCI version. So you got these very beautiful lights. You can see, yeah, imagine you're driving at night. It looks super fierce, okay? Then like I said, this guy got a custom exhaust. So basically he has a custom header and then you have a Army Trix cat back exhaust full okay so it's really really loud okay then you also have a control at the back you can whether you can open the valve or close the valve yeah but trust me this thing is really really loud this car <laughs> later no joke okay yeah then the bottom here you also have the lower diffuser as well yeah this car is so clean so nice and then especially in this color so this color is called Astorio blue yep it's a very iconic color for bmw now just before i head towards the interior Another thing I really like about the F30 is that this car, you can see, is really, really capable. It's really fast, okay? It's in terms of performance, it's really good, okay? But at the same time, it's really practical as well, all right? You have four doors, it's very spacious inside, okay? You also have a rear boot that can put a lot of stuff at the back, okay? And then just to show you the key, all right? The key, you have this blue color inserts, all right? Which ties in the interior, which I'll show you now. So let's just unlock the car for the moment, okay? Open the doors. Now, if you to compare this interior with BMW interior, right? I mean, with Mercedes interior, right? Mercedes definitely wins, okay? Because Mercedes always win the interior game. Now, then a lot of people like to compare BMW versus Mercedes, where BMW has a better performance, but then interior, it sucks, okay? Whereas the Mercedes has a very luxurious interior, but then in terms of performance, it sucks, okay? One way or another, but nowadays, with a modern BMW and Mercedes, they are both on par with each other, okay? So it's nice. Now this car is really really comfortable yep there's nothing special but it just works everything you have a very comfortable leather seats okay you have this very thick side bow string when you corner hard okay so this car can handle very well then like i said at the side here you can see you have this blue color inserts just like the key that runs across the entire dashboard you have this contrast silver here okay which is very nice to the touch okay here so all this all right and then there as well the door cards you have this okay so yeah, then you have this infotainment screen and this right here. So this instrumental cluster, yeah, is actually pretty outdated. But thankfully, with the new G20 and the latest software, and all the new BMW comes with a digital display, which is much better. They really up their game, okay? Because this one, yeah, this is why a lot of people prefer the Mercedes than this, okay? But to me, this car is all about the performance than all this. Okay, so one thing left to do is to start this car. Now remember I said that this car is a full Armatrix exhaust, so it's going to be extremely loud, okay? So brace yourself. So I'm just going to press the start button once, okay? Now to engage full loud mode, right? What you usually do is, firstly, you open the valve. So, okay, if you press off, it actually opens the valve, okay? That's step one. Then step two, you can see here have the modes you can use, okay? You got Eco, you got Sport and Sport Plus. Obviously, you can go to Sport Plus, okay? You go up, okay, now we're in Sport Plus, okay, now foot on the brake and let's start it up Ooh. just take a listen at that it's really really loud okay yeah now let's take a listen outside okay now let's wrap the car okay so i'm gonna just wrap it gently first that's only 1,500 RPM. Can you imagine if it goes all the way up there? It's extremely loud, okay? Now let's try 2,000 RPM. Oh, let's take a listen at the pop, okay? I'm just going to rev one more time, all right? Because it's so loud. Yeah, the whole neighborhood is going to be awake, okay? So just one more time. All right, let's go. Oh, let's 
take a listen at the pop. Okay, I'll take a listen outside. So yeah, that's extremely loud. Okay, it's obnoxiously loud. Okay, so now just to show you the difference, right? If you have to on it, right, you can see it immediately becomes much quieter. You can see, right? If I press on again, right? Really, really cool. Okay, I just have to go out and show you, right, the differences. All right. So now you can see it's bubbling, right? What happens when I press on? back to stock that's the beauty of having a Valvetronic exhaust system okay that's one more time noisy quiet so yeah like the owner of this car what he do usually with this is basically when he's doing like spirited driving he would usually open the valve okay but when he's at like in the wrong neighborhood or you don't want to drive spiritedly you just want to drive normally casually in city and uh, that's when you uh, open uh, close the valve Okay, so yeah, it's very nice. So like I said, this car is really powerful, but at the same time, it's daily drivable, right? Even with an exhaust this loud, you have this problem solved. Okay, now I'm about to drive this car. Now, if you guys think that this car during idle or during stationary, the startup, the revs, all, you feel that it's very loud, right? Wait till you take a listen when this car is on the move because typically turbocharged cars normally sound much louder when it's on the go rather than stationary. So yep, you guys are in for a treat. So yep, without further ado, let's go. There's a straight stretch of road in front of me. So I'm just gonna wind down the window a bit. Okay, ready? Second gear, now let's go. Downshift. Second gear. Damn. Okay, go back to third. Man, that's loud. Okay, we're going for another round. So windows down, all the way. Okay, let's go. Down shift. Listen to the pops. Down shift. One more time. Fireworks. Down shift again. Okay. No, cannot. Another time, let's go. Listen to the pops. Fireworks. Nice. And that's about it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of this BMW F30 3.0i which belongs to my friend. So yeah, huge thanks to him as well for allowing me to drive his car, also review this car. I actually filmed this on a separate day because everything didn't go to plan on the day. It was dark, it was raining, yep, it was wet. So yeah, I didn't really get to film. So yeah, today I managed to film it and this car sounds heavenly and this car is extremely quick as well. Videos can't capture how fast the acceleration is. Like I said, this car from 0 to 100 is in just 5 seconds. So that's pretty quick, alright? So yeah, with that said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I shall catch you guys next time. Ciao!